Hi, here we have three runners ABC runner race with runner A finishing 12 meters ahead of B and 18 meters ahead of C while runner B finishes 8 meters ahead of C. Each runner travels the entire distance at a constant speed. What is the length of the race? So initially uh, we are given that okay we are not given the actual length of the race but it is given that when A reaches the finishing line B is 12 meters behind him. So A finishes 12 meters ahead of B. So when A finishes A is 12 meters ahead of B that means B is 12 meters behind A. And also when A finishes A is 18 meters ahead of C. So C will be somewhere here and this distance will be 18 meters. Okay. So the distance between B and C at this point will be uh, how much 18 minus 12 6 meters. Now it's given that B finishes the race, B finishes 8 meters ahead of C. So when B reaches here, C is behind and uh, C is behind by how many meters? By 8 meters. Now you can do this question in two ways, one is through proper equations, one is through simple logic. Let's us first solve this using simple logic. Let's consider these two situations. This is the first situation and this is the second situation. The distance between B and C uh, at this point is 6 meters, right? Now when B travels another 12 meters, when B travels 12 meters, the distance between B and C changes from 6 to 8. So the distance increases by 12 meters. Distance between B and C increases by 2 meters when B travels 12 meters, right? So that means uh, for every 1 meter increase in the distance between B and C, B must have traveled 12 by 2, 6 meters. So if B travels 6 meters, the distance between them increases by 6 meters, by 1 meter, sorry. So if the distance between them becomes 6 meters, that means B must have traveled 36 meters. So in this situation, B must have traveled 36 meters. So the length of the race would be 36 plus 12, option B, 48 meters. This is one way of solving this question. Another way of solving this question is using uh, equations. So let, we don't know the length of the track. So let's say length of the track is L. Okay. Now let's calculate the ratio of their speeds. All three of them start at the same time. By the time A reaches here, B reaches here and C, sorry, B reaches here and C reaches here. So since time taken is same, ratio of their speeds will be same as ratio of their distances traveled. So A travels L meters, B travels L minus 12 meters and C travels L minus 18. This distance is L minus 18 meters. Okay. These are the distances traveled. Fine. Next, uh, in this case, again, by B and C had started at the same time. By the time B reaches here, C reaches here. So we can calculate the ratio of speeds of B and C from this situation. By the time B travels L meters, C must have traveled L minus 8 meters. Okay. So we have ratio of speeds of BC from here and also BC from here. Both these ratios should be same because they are ratio of speeds of B and C. So we have L minus 12 upon L minus 18 is equal to L upon L minus 8. Right? So we have L minus 12 into L minus 8 is L square minus 20L plus 96 is equal to L minus 18 into L is L square minus 18L. So this gives us L square L square cancels out minus 18 plus 20 becomes 2L hence L comes out to be 96 by 2 which is 48 meters. Option B here is the right answer. Thank you.